Hi there, Minecrafters. Welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Survival with Fabel. This is going to be episode 13, I believe. Not sure, though. Last time we started layout on the farm and limited our trees, so that's all good. <coughs> Let's go and uh, check on our quarry just to see how it's going. It's getting there, getting the materials, that's nice. And you can see the water is disturbed by our mining down there, but that's that's fine. We should harvest some of our sugar cane. There we go. And maybe we should consider making that into a automated farm as well. So we don't have to worry about farming it. <clears throat> anyway, it seems like it's time to uh, get our seeds planted. But the first thing we want to do is finish up the, f the functionality of this. So for now, we're going to place a lever. I know I said I was going to use a button, but uh, until we get the right red power functionality, we are going to use a lever. All right, so let's go and create some redstone components. <clears throat> yeah, I accidentally placed the lever there. That's fine. <laughs> now, first thing we need is, of course, some redstone. We got plenty. Oh, well, we got some, at least, not plenty. And we're going to need some sticks. There we go. Sticks with redstone on is going to give you torches, redstone torches. We need a few of those. But we also need some uh, smooth stone now. We got got a bit there. That's not enough, not nearly enough. And let's just keep that rolling as well. So we need to create uh, four repeaters, and you do that with three smooth stone at the bottom, two torches at the end, and some redstone in the middle. And you get a standard uh, redstone repeater. That's fine for now. But as soon as we start working on a better circuit design, we need better circuits, uh, better parts of the circuit. So. But for basic functionality, this will do. Okay. And you can see now it's turned off, but the water is running. So actually what we should do is invert the signal. I'm just going to do that. So basically we don't need this repeater. I'm going to place a cobblestone block and a torch right there. And uh, well, you can see the redstone down there. Let me jump up here. But you can see it glimmering. Right, when I flick, it should stop. Yeah, that means it's working. And since now we got one repeater free, we're going to see if it works. There we go. You can see it turned one of the signals off. So when we hit on, it should let water through and off. That's the inverse signal. And let's see if it's done cooking up. Yeah, was so. Two more repeaters, and we are all set. 
this is just a basic layout and this is really only for harvesting we also need to add a functionality to auto plant so we don't have to do that manually as well but we don't have the resources yet to do that because uh, I would like to utilize uh, Red Power 2 to do my uh, planting. But we got the basic setup. Let's have an apple. There we go. And let's store our goods in the chest. Well, not, not in that chest. There's one over here. The vanilla chest. There go. Let's just create a stone sickle because uh, the wood sickle isn't going to last much longer. There we go. We're going to uh, cut the leaves off the rubber trees so we can get started on a rubber production. Well, well, we need to harvest the rubber. Let me put it like that. And we got two saplings and I'm still just continuing to place well let's just there we go get rid of that one I'm going to harvest a bit of dirt even though I know I have some inside I would like to expand my rubber tree farm outwards away from my house Because the more rubber trees you have, the potential of a larger production. So, something like that. There we go. And you can see we get these... Uh, these uh, light brown squares on the tree trunks. That's a uh, rubber, and we should have those. So let's just create the tool for that. Industrial craft has its own tool set, and one of them is uh, the tree tab, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's a uh, symbol. It's just made out of five five pieces of wood, but we can also make a better version using electricity there we go so as you can see we get sticky resin when we cook that up it's going to turn into rubber the rubber we're going to wrap around around rubber cables so when the quarry gets to finding some cover for us we are all set on cable as well so let's uh, save the resin down here in right, this chest. Yes. So let's, uh, before we end this episode, let's go and plant. Ah, uh, that's almost broke, so we need to make a new one. So this time we're going with a stone hole. There we go. And seeds. <clears throat> One thing we should consider now is adding a water source block somewhere in this area to help the wheat grow faster. But since we now have a XY craft by Sorin, uh, I think it was Sorin, yeah. There are actually some blocks that can do that for us. That's much cheaper and faster. Well, at least faster. Come on, there we go. So, when all of these grow, we just flip the switch and all the goods come down here. We also need to set up a auto pickup system, so 
I shouldn't even have to pick up anything. And eventually we're going to add a timer to the whole thing. So it will run for one or two Minecraft days. Then it will auto open that, harvest everything, close it again. Red Power 2 will replant the whole thing and wait two days again. So what all I need to do in the end is go and open the chest and grab my loot. Go. And uh, you may wonder what what to do with all those uh, cocoa beans. I will show you in a minute. Let's just It's getting dark. Time to go inside. Well, I will save it for next episode. We're going to cook some food and we're going to continue our work on our farming. So, thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe. This was another day in Minecraft Hardcore Survival with Falcon. So let's just save this one. Bye!